this August 11th, 1941, Life magazine featured actress Rita Hayworth on the cover. And on page 33, this sexy bedroom photo of Rita in a negligee caused quite a stir. Today on Keats Theatre, the life and tragic ending of Rita Hayworth. Her story has a special significance to me because my great-grandmother, pictured here, had the same diagnosis as Rita Hayworth, early onset dementia, also known as Alzheimer's. And it happened at the same age, while she was still in her 50s. Hope you enjoy my feature on Rita Hayworth. What words best describe her? Beautiful? Gorgeous? Sexy? How about voluptuous? Striking? Sexiest? There is one word, though, that sums up what eventually happened to Rita Hayworth, and sadly, that word is dementia. Even more tragic is that it happened to her while she was still in her 50s. Lovely Rita Hayworth, once billed as America's love goddess, was for years a top box office draw at Columbia Pictures, as well as an accomplished dancer, actress, and for young World War II GIs, their favorite pinup girl. To further intrigue fans, Hayworth's romantic escapades were legendary. She was married and subsequently divorced a total of five times. First to promoter Edward Judson, then to well-known director Orson Welles, with whom she had a daughter, Rebecca. Her third union was to Prince Ali Khan, produced a second daughter, Yasmin, and earned her the royal title of princess years before Grace Kelly. Rita followed with a fourth marriage to singer Dick Haynes, and a last walk down the aisle was with film producer James Hill. Additionally, the star had countless romantic entanglements along the way, undoubtedly the result of being so beautiful. Rita Hayworth was born Margarita Carmen Cancino on October 17, 1918, and she received early instruction from her father Eduardo, a professional dancer of Spanish and Roma descent. Her mother, also a dancer, had performed previously with the Ziegfeld Follies. Hayworth appeared in the family act billed as the Dancing Cancinos, and it was during an appearance at the Caliente Club that a Fox Studios executive spotted young Rita and signed her to a short-term picture contract. Around this time, her first husband, Edward Judson, was able to interest Columbia Pictures in his young wife's career. Studio head Harry Cohn wisely sensed her star potential and carefully crafted and developed the Rita Hayworth image, which was in stark contrast to the Fox Studios approach of casting her only in small Latin seductress roles. Harry Cohn began with the name change from Rita Cancino to Rita Hayworth, ordered her hair color altered from its natural brunette to a ginger red color, then followed up with a series of electrolysis treatments to raise her exceptionally low hairline. Hayworth was at the top of the world for years, starring in such films as Blood and Sand, My Gal Sal, You Were Never Lovelier, in which she danced with Fred Astaire, who later said she was his favorite partner, and Cover Girl, in which she danced with Gene Kelly. Gilda was one of her best-known films where she played a notorious femme fatale. Her co-star was actor Glenn Ford, with whom she had a long-term affair. In 1948 came the Orson Welles classic, The Lady from Shanghai, Columbia's Harry Cohn, upon finding out that Welles had cut Rita's long red locks and bleached her hair blonde for the role, apparently went on a weeks-long tirade in retaliation. 
Mention of oddities in the star's behavior had surrounded her for years before the official diagnosis with Alzheimer's disease, especially after her trip to London in 1976, where it was reported she was heavily intoxicated. In 1988, the year after Rita Hayward's death, daughter Yasmin Khan confirmed that while her mother had been drinking during the London trip, the primary issue was that of Alzheimer's disease. Tragically, the illness that began when Hayworth was only in her 50s eventually ravaged her brain, rendering her helpless and dependent on others for even the simplest of tasks. Mercifully, Rita Hayworth died on May 14, 1987. The trailer that follows is for one of her best-known roles in 1942's Columbia film co-starring dance partner Fred Astaire called You Were Never Lovelier. Rita Hayward's dancing was so accomplished and well received by the public she went on to make a film with Gene Kelly, 1944's Cover Girl. Thanks for watching Keats Theater. Like, share, and subscribe. Picture these stars have given you with Jerome Kern's finest score since Showboat.